You're so fast, wished Reneus. Race you again, chuffed Scalloway. Please? Of course, tooted Freddy. Fearless Freddy never says no to a race. <laughs> In no time, the little engines were ready to race again. We'll race you down the other side this time, puffed Reneus. The other side of the mountain is very steep, wished Freddy. You're not scared, are you, Pete Scullowy? Of course not. I'm Fearless Freddy, chuffed Freddy. <laughs> Off we go! Freddy raced ahead of the other engines. Soon he began to run out of puff again. But Freddy didn't want to lose. Then, Freddy remembered another old track. The craggy track, Puff Freddy. I know this railway like the back of my buffers. And soon he arrived at the bottom safe and sound. But Reneus and Scarloe weren't safe and sound at all. The track was very steep. Reneus and Scarloe were determined to bump Freddy's buffers, so they were racing very fast. Faster, we Scarloe. Then there was trouble. Reneus raced right, right off the track. Scarlet. Oh no! cried Scarlet. Freddy was waiting. Oh! Oh! Freddy was waiting at the bottom of the mountain. He was very pleased with himself. Suddenly, Scarloe raced in. Reneus has come off the track, Scarloe cried. And I don't know where he is. We were trying to catch you, Fearless Freddy, but you were too fast. Sir Handel arrived with the narrow gauge controller. He had heard what had happened to Reneus. It's all my fault, sir, chuffed Freddy sadly. I used old tracks. You tracked us, tooted Scarlowy. And now Reneus is lost and in trouble. <coughs> no, he isn't, whistled Freddy loudly. I can find him. I know all the old tracks. Please, sir, follow me. Freddy led the rescue party along another forgotten track. The track wound down to the valley. And there was Reneus. <laughs> 